It's the rundown. It is January 29th, <laughs> post Big Cat birthday. Yep. You did that on purpose. You're the 29th. Yeah, you did that on purpose. You're the 28th. All right. Let's get to the rundown. Let's do the rundown. That was low. I mean, it wasn't low. It was just on purpose. I literally was very annoyed. Yeah, yeah, you said I know it was yesterday. Three days yeah. in a row. Yeah. It was the third you day in a row. Three, yeah, 29, three days in a row. Whatever. All right, let's get to the rundown. It is brought to you. By I didn't do that on purpose, by the way. It is brought to you by Bud Light, clearly. Uh, Bud Light House. You're at the Bud Light House all week. Uh, movement watches, promo URL, MVMT.com slash rundown. Get 15% off, free shipping and returns. They look like four to $500 watches. They're not. They sell up 95 bucks. Get into the movement. Um, okay, let's get right into it. Uh, I think the big news in Barcelona world, which is something we can all be proud of right now, uh, we have the number one app in the iTunes store for sports in the universe during Super Bowl week. Fuck yes. I feel uh, like David Pinocchio is really regretting he everything. He huh? Pinocchio walked into that one. Whoops. Pinocchio lit us. I think we have something like 35,000 downloads of this thing in like the last <laughs> didn't, hour. Didn't we, like, Good job, Pinocchio. Or last, like yeah, that? we broke the website. So yeah. this is just what we always say. Pinocchio uh, just decided to take a shot at us for no reason. The CEO of Bleach Report said we weren't inclusive, said we'd never be as big. And then our army went bananas. And not only that, uh, we also tweeted out that screenshot of like Twitter followers. Not that Twitter's end all be all, but half of Bleach Report's followers are fake. Ooh, that's 90, a bad look. 95% of ours are real. They're 50%. Eee, that's so a bad Bleach look. Report, How, well, that's got to be like millions and millions and millions yeah, of followers. Yeah, it's like 4 million. Right? million yeah. Millions Holy of moly. followers are fake. So we've always said we're real. They're smoke and mirrors. They are caught in a house of lies. Um, it's sad to see uh, I that Pinocchio guy should be fired. Has he, he responded at all? No, he's just, a, he's he's just in a fetal position yeah, in yeah, the mud. Yeah. Yeah. I thought Mike Kearns from Chernin had the best tweet about it. He was like, the Barstool Sports app is the number one in the world because Stooley decided it would be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like once the Stoolies decide to do something, it's over. They're going to so, do it. Yeah. So Move it's mountains. Very exciting to see Pinocchio get his face stomped on. Uh, I love that. He's got to be here, right? Yeah, I would imagine. I mean, he's probably down at Radio Row at the, at the food I court. I feel like he's hiding now. Also, do you know Ble Bleacher Report had... Uh, station on Sirius and just got canceled because nobody listened. That's amazing. That's embarrassing. So there's a lot of things that Bleach Report just stink at. They're very good at They're algorithms good at tech, and rigging it. and it. creating and they fake put out Yeah, they put out like graphics and shit. Yeah. And but in terms of anyone caring about them, they have to fake it. Snake it till you make it, until you try to snake it versus people who don't snake it and you get a uh, bottle smash in your eye. You get bottled. Pinocchio got bottled. You got bottled. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Alex Smith traded to you the You didn't red. even have enough time to create an Ace of Spades bottle to then pop I know, on I know. quick. It was that I mean, fast you of a death. You murdered him in, in a radio, one radio segment. Yeah. It was over. Yeah. Um, Alex Smith, the Redskins, Big Cat, you had him on PMT. Oh, yeah. Brutal. Okay, so Brutal you had him on PMT. Exclusive interview. Brutal time. But that's kind of funny. Yeah, no, it is funny. I mean, it worked out like, and at first when the trade was announced, I was like, okay, so he didn't know. But then they're like, uh, he's he having a four-year extension. So it's like, he so knew. he did know. He knew. He for sure knew. He like, absolutely knew. He did all his media yesterday. You don't, you don't, you don't yesterday. negotiate a, a seventy-year guaranteed deal yeah. like that. I, <laughs> I mean, still. That was... I mean, nice guy. He was fun to interview. Uh, I don't understand what the Redskins like. That's uh, what they're throwing, they doing. Like That's Kirk Cousins. I mean, they're doing what the Redskins do, right? I mean, so also Kirk Cousins is going to make so much money now. Aaron Rodgers is going to make so much money now. Like the so the is Cousins going to make more than Smith? Yeah. That has to be – if Cousins isn't going to make more than Smith, then the Redskins are dumber than we even think because they just traded a guy they could have had – or they or they're letting a guy walk who they could have had for cheaper than their quarterback. Uh, do yeah, but the Redskins make no sense. Did you see how they would have paid him – the, they paid more money to Cousins by franchise tag him than yeah. just give him the contract right. he wanted in the beginning. They just, just kept, backwards. I mean, well, uh, the only thing I'll say in defense of the Redskins is they basically franchise tagged Kirk Cousins being like, he's going he's gonna to suck eventually. <laughs> right. So it was a good gamble in that respect. And I still – the quarterback market in the NFL is insane because Alex Smith is a nice quarterback. Like he, That's he, actually the perfect way to describe right. him. Right. He yeah. is there in a league where there's 32 teams and I would say – half, maybe even 60% have terrible quarterbacks, Alex Smith is a nice quarterback. He's probably in that 10 to 15 range. Maybe even a little higher because he's won a shitload of games. But to like the fact that he, these guys are getting huge, huge contracts, good for them, it just like it just keeps going up and up. I think you can win with Alex Smith. Yeah, I do too. 
Like, I too, you, I mean, got, you need defense. Playoff yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, 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 think I mean, he's that. one and four in the playoffs, but still, right. no. But he, I don't. I, I, I like what the Chiefs this year. It's not like I didn't watch. It's like, oh, that's his fault. Right, right. right. And he, uh, I think the stat is he's won uh, the third most games in the NFL since 2013, besides but Tom I, Brady and uh, Russell Wilson. But you know, it's it's not like a Tom Brady led win. You know what I mean? No, it's, I mean it's it's, it's he, he does what he needs is, to do to not screw up the rest of what his team is this doing. This is like the so Jay Cutler. Would you give him 70 million guaranteed? Yeah, I mean this is like the Jay Cutler thing again. Like yeah. when people were like, well you can't give Jay Cutler that much money or Joe Flacco. It's like what what, else what is you your alternative? Yeah. Who are you going to get? You give me a name that you're going to get that's going to be you better than those cousins guys. Cousins to go to the Jets? And it's hard to find them. you got to draft them and hope you hit. Well, I mean like what there's five guys in the draft that are going to maybe go in the first round this year. Maybe two of them will be good. Yeah, and and again, I, I actually I let's say Brady's retired or whatnot. I think you can win a Super Bowl with Alex Smith. I think he's not going to be like you, if your team is good enough, he's not going to be the reason you don't win. Yeah, right, correct. Um, uh, another sponsor here, my bookie. Now is the perfect time to sign up with the Super Bowl right around the corner. Prop bets, all that stuff. Use the code Rundown to get an instant fifty percent deposit match. Bet on the big game this weekend at mybookie.ag. Play, win, you get paid. Never a better time to get in the action. Um, I, I, Dan, say a lot of things about this guy. I live and I learn. I already placed my bets for tonight because it gets too yes. busy. Yes. So I woke up. Time change. It's like I'm going to just place them and not worry yeah, about it. Yeah, doing the blind betting while doing radio, just a disaster. Yep. <laughs> um, we had the world's tallest man posing for a picture with the world's shortest, shortest woman. It was electrifying. I mean, I don't want to undersell it, but it was an electrifying How photo. short was she? She's got to be like. She's like two feet tall. Nah, she couldn't even be two feet. She had to be one foot, one foot four inches. Let's pull it up. Insane. She's the size of my shoe. the guy? The guy had to be, who's that guy, Marisol, who did the, used to do the Bullets commercials? On George Marisol. Yeah, He's George Marisol. makes George Marisol look I mean, like Muggsy Bowles. dwarfs Bulls. those guys. This shit is weird. These are aliens, basically. Uh, it's a picture of two aliens on Earth. Okay, so it's brilliant. eight foot three and two foot oh one. My two God. foot one. I so my you. question is, who would two you rather be? Two eight, for one. Eight. That, that's like Ant-Man. Yeah, you're like but a I feel superhero. Like be, I'd rather be a tall guy, dude. No, your life would be so you can't miserable. Get into and you die. You're gonna die. That's the, too big. But the I, small, like, the small person's getting in, in fights with ants. Yeah, but the. <laughs> but <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, but, I would rather but, be able to like fit through doors, lay on beds, yeah, sit, fit in chairs, fit in cars, yeah. you can't, sit on planes. How, you can't open think about a door. that. A, a, How are you gonna open a door? A plane. You need some help. You definitely need some help. A plane seat is like a full bed for you. That's like first class. Yeah, yeah. But and, and, but, and hey, but how do you get baby on the seat? clothes? Like you, you're not spending any money. You're buying know, like little eight, baby clothes, eight foot baby three, shoes, baby everything. Like yeah, I don't, you, you're, you don't need to eat that much food. I'm sure this eight foot three guy's a nice guy, but he's gonna die soon. Well, they're both dead soon. Right. But the, the, the reality of the matter three, is, like, big two dogs die young. Per, two foot four persons are gonna get stepped on like an insect. <laughs> I don't know. I've, I don't know. How tall I think is two foot four? Like this table? It's like a dog. Two feet. Like a, a two rollers. Dog. Think she, of two rollers. Jesus. I, mean, I don't know. I give me the tall. You guys. could ride. Probably what, like this big. Like my, what if you my could, feet. Like what if you could ride dogs? Shoes. That'd be cool. If you just get a lab so and, and ride it around like a, you're, you're like a blind person's like Labrador. You just get that and you just put a saddle on it. I don't hate that, but also if you're the world's tallest guy, I don't even care if you're hoops. You just walk into a gym and just like where they're playing pickup, oh. just walk around. No, that, oh, that, that guy, guy can't, has, can't walk. He, he barely walks. He's got no he's got yeah. weird work. feet. He's got I a can't catch a ball. We're making it seem like this this small person has like a walk a, a strong wind, and you're out to sea. I'd rather just be chilling as I don't a little know, tiny com- person compact, than be a, a dense gigantic, bones. uncomfortable person who's about to die any second. Yeah. Ed Warner with a fire tweet today was inter- in interviewing um, LeGarrette Blount. So had an excellent interview, like six-time Super Bowl champ, um, only or no, six Super Bowl touchdowns, only five players more, something to that effect. They're all in the Hall of Fame. And then said LeGarrette Blount said uh, Aj- Ajayi was his dog. Dog means friend. Classic <laughs> white guy explaining what dog Ed meant. Uh, Ed Warner. Ed Warner. I don't even know who he works for because uh, he's been complaining some about some Dallas it. station, I think. Yeah, because he, he's been complaining about getting this fired from the Eastman. This is almost hard to believe that someone would do this. <laughs> no, nah, but, but I, I also I, I'm not going to say that he was doing it as a joke because it clearly, wasn't a joke. He clearly wasn't. But it's almost impossible to think that he needed to. I can't even imagine. That's what that. the new Twitter thing will allow, though. Yeah. That's like, there's no way you get that extra in Dog Means Friend yeah. without With the, the new characters. Yeah. I just want to know <laughs> if Ed Warder, like, asked, like, you know, in the interview, like, what, what is dog? When you say dog, yeah. do you I'm mean... I'm transcribing this right now. Could you please tell me what that That's means? That's like when you were trying to clarify that 50 Cent is 50 Cent. 
that was a bad white guy tweet. This is like way worse than that. Dan, I have a question. Yeah. We had this on Radio Row yesterday. Do you think there's any perverted, anything perverted about wanting to have sex with uh, twins or sisters? Or Two threesomes? sisters. Do having think, sex do, with each other. You, if someone says they're into that, do you think that's a perverted male brain? No, it's a regular. It's an alpha brain. That's guys. exactly twins, what we're talking baby. about. The um, Coors Light commercial. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Do you, exactly. Twins Actually, what the real debate was, twins. do you think that girls going down it's on each other is incest? It's fucked up for them, incest? not you. Exactly. Do you think that girls going down on each other is incest? Sisters going down on each other is incest? In the middle of a threesome. Uh, yes, that would be incest. In the middle of a threesome? Yes, that would be incest. Like I said, that's, that's, that's the real debate. That's a technical uh, rule. It's like a blue uh, law. Yes, but what, that would you, be you definitely can, the definition of incest. You can absolutely be into that if yeah. that's your scene, but then you have to say, I'm into incest. I use right. the analogy like gambling is illegal, but we're not criminals. Yeah, well, no, yeah, it's worse it's than they're, that. they're committing the it's incest. Worse, you're yeah. just a party but to it. But you have to understand then, if you're partaking and you're into it, then you are into incest. No, see, that's where I disagree. You the, like you, you're cannot, not. you do not get to watch sisters go down on each other that's, and not have to wear that's, the incest that's tan. What I'm not a, so I'm a criminal because I gamble. Then. I'm not even saying you're a criminal. I, I'm not, but you, that's the same You can analogy. be into it, but you have to acknowledge that you're into incest. Yeah, no, I, but think you're yes, you I think it would be weird. I think it would be weird for them to go down on each other. Just... You just become. It actually would be twins would be great because like you'd be the you know the main focus. They probably don't want to touch each other. You let them. Do. I don't know. It's part of a wild threesome. I, yeah. Sorry to get distracted there. I'll try to keep this thing on the rails. Um, You've been watching a lot of twin porn. How did this come up? Bella and Gigi Hadid pose oh. naked, like basically scissoring each other. I thought it was hot. And people like you. Have scissoring. A I don't mind. think is incest. <laughs> no, it's definitely. I don't think. I don't. It's got to be like a tongue or a finger inserted. I know technically. That it is incest, but I don't think it's like perverted mind when it's. Well, it's all perverted, but you have. You, 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 my point. You want to be. It is. Listen, all of it's I think perverted. It's all male the shit fantasy we're into 101. Is perverted, bro. All the no, shit we like. Yeah, is but you like yeah, what you like. Yeah, I mean, like Ken no, Bone likes, likes uh, pregnant fine. women. Yeah, but again, you got to wear it. No, but if like two like Kentucky people, like a brother and sister, have sex, that's incest. That's gross. 6,000 heads. This is different. It's a common male fantasy. Uh, it's all boils down to I don't know if it's a common male To fuck twins? I don't know if it's like Coors common. twins. You nailed it. Yeah, I mean Coors twins were hot. Well, I, I said if they're not hot, then throw it out. Yeah, just everyone's ugly. And yeah. I think um, we. I think that we don't even have to say that. Right. right. Uh, a couple media fights. One on radio row. A couple of uh, radio guys. I think it was an old Jaguar player just yelling at each other. Um, they're holding the microphone, the cameras up. It looked like they maybe would swing. They didn't. You lost in the World Series, and now what happened? You I'm, the I'm, old. I'm, I'm the biggest, this is Josh's stick. I'm the biggest Astros fan in the world for six months. You lose in the ratings when the Astros win the World Series. What's now? Your Gulf Coast Regional Radio. The Josh in his, the Josh in his network. How do you know that? You don't listen. When did I say I don't listen? That's your shtick. That's your shtick. You say you don't listen. I've never okay. said I don't listen. Okay. Yes. You clown. You're lying again. What am I lying You're lying about that? Me calling my lawyers? I never said you. I said oh, radio no, you didn't. Oh, you didn't. You didn't. Hey, who oh, Seth and Mike and I. Oh, they're my great friends. Let me tell them why they suck. Who am I supposed to know who calls a lawyer? Well, then why would you say it? Why would you say I call my lawyer? This is the other big thing about you. This is the other big thing about Josh. This is what Josh does. Um, I'm going to pull a stunt. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go break Texans media rules where I know I'm gonna lose my credentials, and then I'm gonna claim that I'm surprised that I have my credentials pulled. You lie to your audience and then claim you have your credentials pulled because you're the most honest guy in Houston. You're a fraud. You're a joke. You bounce around. The, the Philly people here, they know you're a joke. The Houston people, know you're, you got like one employer left that you can work for. I don't know. Like the, the Josh Nimmons Network, whatever it is, you got your own podcast. What? You guys are inevitably gonna get fired because you have a 1.5. So what? So what the hell? Josh, we have three times as many listeners as you do. Like based on what? Like, how does based on what? What? Based on what? Based on the ratings that you only care about when you're winning. When you're, when you're winning the ratings, like, hey, I'm Josh Inez, I'm the best guy that ever lived. Yeah, but when you're yeah, losing, was, well, it's a flawed system. Well, it it's is. Like, you know, like, you're, you're such a fraud. And you yeah, guys so much talent. You could have been so yeah. great. Uh -huh. There are rumors that you're going to take these guys' job over. It's a buzz, like, according to you. Yeah. According to you, you're going to take their yeah. job over. Yeah. But, but now, where are you? You're bouncing around from place to place. It's pathetic. It's sad. Poor Jim Mudd. He's not going to be more than his talent if you get fired. I like Jim Mudd. He's a decent human being. You're a bad person. You're a bad person. Yes, you're a bad person. 
person. I'm a bad person. You are a bad person. Based you're, on what? You're weak, you're yeah. insecure, yeah. you yeah. can't yeah. leave this alone. You'd be right. so good if you would focus on things. You're yeah. so obsessed Thanks, with everybody that doesn't like you that you fall okay. apart. Yeah. I'm not falling. I'm sitting here talking to you. John, John. You're far away. You're going to go home and you're going to look at Twitter. You're going to look at Twitter. Josh, you're going to look at Twitter. You're going to look at Twitter. Who the fuck? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? And then the Russians showed you what you do when you do a media fight because mm -hmm. they just start throwing punches. Old guy knocked into this fifth row. Помоги мне. Встань и дай. Хочешь стекло такое? Давай. У нас трансляция в YouTube идет, уважаемые. Вы что творите? Так, господа, прекратите! Вы что делаете? Ну-ка прекратите это безобразие, мужчины, разведите. Так, секунду, все. Прошу прощения, у нас сейчас не предвидится. Прекратите. Давайте уважать друг друга. Давайте уважать друг друга. Я прошу прощения, что происходит? Um, anything on these media fights, KFC? Well, I mean, yeah, Russia just blows you out of the water there. I feel like prior to the Russia fight, everybody was, oh, radio row fight, radio row fight, and who are these guys, what's going on? And then you see the Russian one, it's like, all right, that was some JV nonsense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, uh, the Russian guy, the old guy, he definitely thought he had the age on his side where it's like, you can't hit an old elderly person, <laughs> and that went out right away. Yeah. Um, and then the radio row, like... We have, like, Nate versus Smitty. We have, you know, like, in internal, you know, barstool drama. But I love these radio guys because they love nothing more than fighting with their own station about ratings. <laughs> like, being like, well, you couldn't handle the mornings. Like, yeah, yeah look at my fucking book the last three months. Like, yeah. Jesus Christ. And it's guys. like the ratings mattered when, when you were on top. Now that the, yeah. you're not on top, it's flawed. Yeah. I also, and I'm not just saying this because we're at Cowboy Jacks all week. I went to Radio Row to get an interview. I knew you were down there. I'll tell you, it's a sad scene there. It is sad. I, I, I like, when I... Th when we did the serious thing, I was like, oh, cool, we'll get Radio Row access now. And I walked through yesterday, and I don't want Radio Row I access. also feel like this is being regarded as a pretty bad Radio Row in general. I feel like Radio Row kind of stinks, but then this one in well, the mall is the Well, this is the middle of a mall. The worst. But it's so just, this is the worst Radio Row of all. I hate that in the sense, like, if you were there, there's food everywhere. You get a yeah, lot yeah, of yeah. hands. Yeah. Yeah, 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 but it's just, I don't know. It's, there's something about Radio Row. You it's just depressing. get, like, it, it, thrown it, into I mean, these little... What you just described is... Radio Row, like, celebrating it. That l loser, lame radio, right, right. like, in, you know, so, circle jerk session. I'd much rather do what we do, and I know that probably people are going to be like, oh, that's just because you don't have credentials. But I, I listen, I, so, I, yeah. I, I would have liked credentials before this Super Bowl. Looking at it this Super Bowl, I'm like, I don't think so. And the environment's like, we have the best environment with the live crowd and all. So it's, uh, I would always rather be at a bar than sitting around mm -hmm. something like Radio Although Row. the food court. The food court is I, it's pretty, pretty I, I would eat food, a lot of food. Really is fire, so. um, this, I blogged this last night at 11.30 because it was just, like, I couldn't believe it was real. But I can believe it's real. Max Kellerman uh, thinks now, so the, you know, they're commenting on Chief Wahoo, that, how they're phasing that out. He went a step further and said, now we got to get rid of the Notre Dame Fighting Irish logo. No, you don't. But how hard is it for you or anyone to empathize? Simply empathize with a group who is defended, even if it is a what? minority of the group that is offended. And as to the argument, kind of when is enough or when does it end, my friend Brian Kenny, Stephen A., our colleague and, and good friend from ESPN, now on MLB Network, was tweeting about this last night, and someone asked him about what about the fighting Irish. Brian is Irish-American. His father, Charlie Kenny, the late, great Charlie Kenny, bog farmer from Ireland. That's where his people are from. Walked the beat in Queens as a cop once he got to this country. Was asked about the fighting Irish and the leprechaun logo. And many Irish-Americans are not offended, but many are. And should that also change? You answer the that. Answer is, the answer is Yes, oh unequivocally yes. Pernicious negative stereotypes of marginalized people that offend even some among them should be changed. It's well, not that hard. It was so, I, I think even the people on the panel thought he was joking at first, but he was dead serious. Uh, this is the dumbest take. No, but he's, I mean, he's not wrong. Like, uh, it, he's wrong. If you're going to go by the same logic. It's like saying Gi the Giants logo needs to go too. Because it's, it's giants, yeah, cause, like yeah. that eight foot three yeah, guy. really but, tall people. Like yeah. it's but offensive no, to the them. The only reason this but is not a serious. thing is because Irish people don't care about this stuff at all. Yeah, but he's saying there is somebody who cares. There's about not it. though. But like, oh, they care about it. If you got rid of the fighting, yeah, Irish the other way. I'm saying there yeah, is fight. not there yeah. is not an <laughs> Irish person alive 
who will ever get offended by any of the stereotypes I, you spit about Irish people. But it is technically the same as like a red skin and a fighting Irish. It is a it is like a a racial stereotype, an ethnic stereotype. It's just that the people that they're talking about don't care. I don't know. It, it was one of those things. Was it like rude to say the Irish like to fight? Yeah, I think the stereotype Mexicans, is that we're Mexicans like drunk. Like to fight. Well, you, you guys are drunkards. See, that's yeah. the thing. You you can say that we fight. We like I mean, you we do. we don't la like we laugh. We don't ever get offended by yeah. it. Well, it's because you do. This was definitely Max Kellerman. Like someone told him this, and he thought it was a genius idea. Oh my I God. hope this didn't just come up in his own brain because it's a. Terrible I thought he was joking, and then it's like I'm watching. I'm like this guy's fucking serious. Yeah, he, he thought this was like a big gotcha moment. Like, well, you gotta <laughs> get rid of. Yo, this I'm too. saying though, if if there were if Irish people reacted the same way as like Native Americans or any of these other groups, it would be a thing. It's just yeah. that there's no outrage. But there, if there, there was outrage from Irish uh, people, it would be just as bad as Chief yeah, Wahoo. Yeah, but like, it's well, just Irish we don't people also aren't like really marginalized anymore. Right. There's no connotation. Just don't care, negative right. con it's yeah, like, but you don't care because you're not marginalized. Right. You can't really. But right. I'm, I'm saying right. that. Right. Uh, right. 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 Like Native Americans are like, living on like plantations. And right. Shouldn't have so. Right. I, and like I, we're building like oil pipelines through their backyard. <laughs> right. Yeah. So I there's a little that. bit of a difference. For sure. <laughs> I think that it's the same thing as like, you know, if you were make fun of like Italian people, they wouldn't really care either. Oh, I think Italian people sometimes get upset. They get they get a little sensitive. It's the Irish people who don't. Again, I I think if you said something like if, it, it it depends. Like I don't if people Everything depends. When people like Jews are rich, I don't get offended by that. That's like a not if you like. He would control the media. Yeah. That, Whoops. Uh, yep. Like I'm happy about yeah. that. Yeah. No, so. I know. Banks. Those are good things. I'm saying when you say I mean, that, but if that you're Irish like, people are drunk and, and fight each other. Yeah. Yeah. To me, that's not like I, that's not a bad thing. Tough. Not a good thing. Tough people. Yeah. We just don't care. That's because it's not like a bad thing. If you're like Irish people are thieves, you. If you're like, uh, if you, all right. Uh, Irish people are violent alcoholics. You phrase it that way. It's that's like, what it is. We just, but we, we always say, yeah, we get drunk I'm and offended. fight. Half of me is offended. <laughs> that's very offensive. Get rid of the fighting Irish. That would I actually want to see it happen just, just all you have game burn. Red, it would you, be red face insane. Irish people spilling out of their houses, punching everybody in the face. <laughs> yeah, it would <laughs> be like insane. I mean, just to watch the world burn, that, let's do that, it. It would just be scally caps one, like, everywhere. Yeah, the number one thing that I like, imagine Rear Admiral. Oh, is he another name guy? I feel like he's not. He may not because he may think he, it's like fake or something. Yeah. I'd, I'd have to ask where I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right. That's it. That's the rundown. Again, we are at Cowboy Jacks all weekend long. Our party is Friday night at the Lumber Exchange. You can buy tickets. A lot of people, I, they're asking, like, how do I get on the list? How do they get on the list? Be a big baller. It's $300. You'll get the same access mm -hmm. if we put you on the list. We actually have to buy extra tickets for ourselves. Yeah. So, like, we're not shunning people. Um, it's a partner group with Tao. Uh, What's the bet you put in? Today? Yeah. The bet or yeah. a bet? Bets, yeah. Just I, give me one. Uh, I know I took Marquette against Butler and the over in Marquette. We've been down this road. Didn't we bet Marquette Butler over like two days ago? Or was that <laughs> Marquette? Marquette I got to be telling you, the entire Big East Conference, yeah. Providence. I just bet Butler, over every time when I Creighton, lose. Yeah. Every time I bet over, it's not even close. Every time I don't, it's like 195. Yes, it's so true. Xavier and Marquette play Xavier, each other. It's teams, 150 they, they, They're all wearing blue. Every team wears yeah, blue. Yeah, different Seat shades all. of blue, and I expect yeah. them all to score, and they fucking never score. Providence. When I bet on them. Providence. I did Xavier St. John's last night, or whatever. I think it was Xavier yeah, St. Yeah, John's. Yeah, it was. Xavier won by like five or yeah, something. Yeah, and it, it was going over all game, and then they just stopped. Forget about Providence. Providence either scores 100 or they can't score. Yes, all. yes. Forget about that. Yes. And I love Col Cooley. Coach Cooley, I think he's the best coach in the NCAA, but they don't win a lot. Great hair. Yeah, he's, uh, <laughs> is Brad Nessler? Is Brad Nessler the guy who keeps calling Providence games and he won't shut up about how great the dunk is? Like he must be from <laughs> Providence. Every game, he's like the best college basketball crowd in America. But the Big East is. It's you just still, I said I said Creighton was a uh, mid major the other day because like even oh, yeah. though they're in the Big East, they're still a mid major. Yeah, they're a mid major. And people were mad at me. Yeah, no. They're like Big East. Big. I was like, listen, I know they're in the Big East. But Creighton's a mid-major. Yeah. They will forever be a mid-major if you watch them and, like, their rise, they're mid-major. I'm full-fledged. I've been betting so much college hoop. I mean, I know a lot. There's so many teams that it's just I can't figure out. I mean, that – I think maybe the hardest game to bet – I actually won it. I had the overs. I overs Minnesota yesterday. Yeah. I still have Dick Vitale telling me Minnesota's a Final Four team after the Hawaiian <laughs> tournament. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get them out of my head. Oh my. Yeah, they were ranked for a minute. Yeah, and, and I'm hearing yeah, – yeah. here Rick Patino, yeah. uh, Patino doing – 
because we're in Minnesota. Yep. He was talking like he's like Iowa can beat anybody on any, any given night. I'm like, what are you talking? You, you stink. Know what, do you know what team that is for me? Uh, Oregon. Because oh, they used tough, to too. score. Yep. And I, now I'm betting overs in Oregon, and it's like they've been really slowing it down yep. this year. I'm like, God damn it. And Arizona, and Arizona State's like they yeah, they started should score. Now, yeah, yeah, they should score a lot, too, and they don't. They used to. Fuck. All right. <laughs> All right, bye. <laughs>